No, oh, silly me. I forgot the package. Hello, Angie. Long time no see. Uh, one package for you today. Thanks, Thomas. How's Emily? Uh, she's very busy. The motel's chronically understaffed. Ah, yes. This must be busy season at the motel. I do like it when out-of-towners come to visit our little hamlet, especially when they like movies. <laughs> Apparently most of the rooms have been fitted with VCRs now. Should be good for business. So, what do we have here? Oh, right. You okay there, Angie? It's just some things from L.A. <sighs> Toiletries, stuff like that. I, um, recently ended my relationship. Angie, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It was my decision, and it was the right decision. The long distance thing just wasn't working out, still. Seeing your spare toothbrush, that shampoo bottle, a stick of deodorant, it just makes it so definite, you know? Like, the LA chapter of my life is now finally completely closed. Sounds like you're dealing with it like a champ, though. How did your ex take it? My ex-girlfriend, you mean? Yeah, she's handling it okay. Other than the passive-aggressive shipping of toiletries, I guess. <laughs> oh! Did you... not know? <laughs> well, surely it's none of my concern. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly something I walk around advertising around here. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've seen you blush. Breaking up right before Christmas Eve must be extra tough. Yeah, that does add to the melancholy. Timing isn't exactly my strong suit, I guess. Well... I'll leave you alone with your thoughts and your spare toothbrush. Merry Christmas, Angie. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Thomas. My toothbrush and I bid you adieu.
that school friend Jesse used to live. I remember once, so Edith came home from school so after learning so about walnuts. And she go. asked us if they were named after the street. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Got a pretty hefty package here for you. Ah, uh, thanks, Thomas. I've been waiting for that one. Hi, Mr. W. Please, please, please tell me the mail truck needs a tune-up. Hey, Lori. I didn't know you'd already begun working here. Weren't you supposed to start in January? Yeah, she pestered me into allowing her to start a week early. Already put snow tires on half the town's vehicles. At this rate, I can retire before the end of next summer. But this truck's fine, Laurie. I gave it a checkup for Frank less than 10 days ago. Ah, uh, are you sure there's nothing I can improve on the old, um, what do you call this thing again? I just call it the mail truck, actually. Uh, boring. We need to come up with a better name than that. Tell you what, Laurie. Maybe you can check out the car horn. It sounded a little off last time I checked. The horn, eh? I'm on it! That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Mr. W. Diaphragm had gotten a little dusty, but it's all better now. The mail truck is honking like a big old goose again. Thanks, Lori. Come to think of it, I will be calling your truck the goose from here on out. Big, white, wobbly, and with a honking great horn. Honk, honk! The goose has a nice ring to it. Or a nice honk, anyway. Well, gotta be getting back to my rounds. Happy holidays, you guys. Thanks, Thomas. You too. <laughs> <laughs>